that right there gives me 30 percent move speed my move speed right now is 105 percent you guys that is legitimately that's a lot okay <laughs> and look at the range on this so you pretty much always hit them right and when this stacks that's attack and crit plus 50 percent so hey what is going on everyone welcome back to another idiot eternal episode on the channel uh been quite a minute been a minute not gonna lie haven't been on this game in like four or five months you know i'm sorry i apologize uh but yeah your boy's been grinding other games on the channel so we're back on this game you guys and in today's episode i'm gonna be doing a very very good guide for you guys uh so if you're new to the channel drop a sub drop a like any suggestions of future videos down below and honestly without further ado let's get straight into this one Alrighty, you guys so in today's video i'm gonna be doing something that's a little bit exciting um so once again i'm super excited to get back into this game honestly one of my favorite mmos of all time and hopefully you guys enjoyed this one right so something that i've been asked a lot while i well when i used to play this game right quite often is um how do i farm a lot of gold right that's something a lot of people ask and it's just something i really want to kind of tackle because i don't think a lot of people know how to make gold in this game right i mean i'm not the richest obviously i just waste my money on like dumb stuff like this right here for like 10k or 15k uh but anyways aside from that right <laughs> so the best way to make gold in this game honestly is to use this class called the blade acrobat right which is just a subset of the blade dancer so you guys navigate down here go to blade dancer and this is the actual class these are awakened and the blade acrobat is this one right you press activate of course so this class honestly uh if you don't know how to play it it can't be that good right uh, but I'm going to show you guys the best build and where to farm, right? So just to start off, let me show you guys the stats, uh, what I'm rocking, sort of what I'm using. Um, okay, so this is what you want to use. The first thing is you want this sword, right? And I'm going to explain in a little bit. So if you guys read under P attack plus 5%, it says sword dance, right? Which is this skill right here. And this is how you're going to be doing most of your damage. So first you want to buff with magical rhythm. I don't want to get too into this because I think it's kind of basic. Um, use whatever buffs you want to increase your P attack as much as possible. I don't have glyphs, so don't don't mind how low it is. <laughs> uh, but anyways, aside from that, you want to use sword dance, right? So what it is, it's basically an AOE skill, right? So it just does damage around you and... Honestly, depending on your P attack, um, it could stack. So I'm going to show you guys, obviously, where to farm and how much damage it does. Um, but yeah, so that's what you want to use the Sword Dance, which is why this right here, which I think is from Venom, which is like a world boss. Um, I'm basically pretty sure it's in Whispering Woods, but correct me if I'm wrong. Yeah, so this boss right here drops this, and this trophy actually gives um, plus 5 meters to Sword Dance Acrobat skill, right? So I haven't been in this game in a while, so like if I do like kind of miss something, uh, don't mind me. I literally have not played in like four months. Uh, but anyways, right? So this is the skill you want to use. Um, and then this right here obviously gives you sword dance plus five meters. This gives you sword dance plus five meters. And this is where it gets interesting. There's a glyph. I'm not sure if you guys know. Right? I don't have glyphs, but I only have this one. I just bought it for this video. <laughs> but yeah, so Blade Acrobat skill, um, Sword Dance, range increase plus 6 meters, and also Stardom damage plus 20%. So when I do equip this one, you guys will see. I'm not sure if it shows. Um, let's see. So it doesn't really show. The animation is kind of the same. But like, if there's a mob right here, I guarantee you guys I'll hit them. Right? So let's go ahead and test it out. Let's get on our amazing dragon. Actually, we've got a new dragon. Let's try out the new dragon. Hold up. Let me switch to dragon for the fish. Okay, but as that happens, let me take you guys to where you want to farm. So, I'm going to show you guys the gear, so don't worry. I'll show you guys the gear for sure. Like, as you guys can tell, I literally have not been on in years, so I forgot where to farm. <laughs> but once again, you want to head over to Roaming um, Hills. And once you're here, let's get on our amazing new dragon. Oh, this dragon is just so lit. Look at this. <laughs> Honestly, bro, this dragon. Wait, what's the jump animation like? Okay, so they absolutely just skipped the jump. Like, what is this, dude? <laughs> I don't think they put in much work into the jump animation. It's like it tries to jump, but it just hits his head on the ceiling. All right, anyways. Um, so here's the gear, right? Let, let me show you guys the gear. So license points. Um, of course, you want four oranges, so you get extra attack from one hand. And if you have two, obviously I don't, you'll get more. Um, you want move speed. You want 5% chance to recover health. Uh, well, honestly, you wouldn't need this if you have really good gear like me, which I'll go into detail in a little bit. And then you want this one. Obviously, double hit is amazing. Um, yeah, but besides that, like these don't matter. Accessories, you want as much P attack as possible. I just rocked a Cerberus set. Um, this is like my KP points. Kind of basic, nothing too crazy. Let me see. Yeah, nothing too crazy. Honestly, it's pretty basic. Obviously, you always want to max out the attack or M attack on any class. 
followed up by maxing out the skills you use, which honestly at level 120 you can just max everything out. Um, the gear that I'm using is this one, right? So we got Awakened Blazing Hydra's Flaming Hat, right? Then we have the body piece, the belt, the boots, and the hands, right? Obviously everything is fully gemmed out. Um, honestly, I forgot when I did this, but yeah, I used to actually care about this game a lot. <laughs> but anyways, um, once again, if you guys didn't miss my... I, I don't know how long I made the video, but you want to head over to Palace of Dreams Dungeon. So let's go over there. And that's sort of where you want to farm, right? Now, the way you want to farm this is... Okay, my bag's kind of full. I don't want to archive everything, although I think I might. Just because, like, I don't really need anything. Yeah, let's just do it. Okay, really? I forgot to lock it. So we're, our mount is gone. <laughs> I think it's special amounts owned. Um, okay, they're all gone. That's really unfortunate. All right, let's take them all out. So what you want to do is you want to use this class. Now, like I said, there's a lot of different classes you guys can use. Um, a lot of people use the mecha. Honestly, I use the mecha as well just because I was used to it from main server. Obviously, this is the Awakened server. And the mecha is good. It's just like the Blade Acrobat is a lot faster. That's kind of what I figured. So you want to go into 0 out of 10. Unless you're a weakling and you want to do 0 out of 2. But yeah, you know what I'm saying. So, alright, so this is the way you want to do it, right? You want to use skill 4, right? Magical Rhythm. Then you want to use this one, and then you want to use 6, right? So it's kind of basic. 6 just stays on. Um, and yeah, this is kind of what I, my character looks like. Pretty lit, you know what I'm saying? Uh, let me take off this one so you guys can see what I look like. I look like a Blade Dancer. <laughs> I look kind of sus, not gonna lie. But you know, it is what it is, man. Alright, anyway, so put all the skills on. And look at the range on this, right? You guys see this? Like, look at this. Look at the range. Uh, it shouldn't go that far. And you literally just hit him. And I want you guys to notice something. The stacks, right? That right there gives me 30% move speed. My move speed right now is 105%, you guys. That is legitimately... That's a lot, okay? <laughs> and look at the range on this. So you pretty much always hit them, right? And when this stacks, that's attack and crit plus 50%. So my P attack now is almost 300k, right? I can get more if I have the club. But honestly, the, the shield is just a lot better. That's kind of all I learned because you get move speed and you pretty much just one shot like it's really easy you just literally one shot and you stand in the middle and you literally hit all of them that's what I mean by the range right so you go over here you hit these guys over here same thing so you pretty much just go in a straight line honestly like it goes by the saying pay to win not pay to win spin to win <laughs> uh, so you basically just spin to win this game is not pay to win at all honestly like if I've played a game in my life that was not pay to win it would be this one right all right so you want to basically just keep going and spinning Kind of repetitive, um, doesn't really change much, but I'll show you guys the mecha way, sort of, um, after this little mob fight, like, right here in this area, but it's nothing different, right? Like I said, you get a lot of P attack, 300k already, my crit is pretty much 100, it's like 4.5k, so yeah, I, mean, I don't even have the best stats, and keep in mind, I don't have glyphs, right? So if I had glyphs, it would be so different, like, I'd have, like, move speed glyphs, attack glyphs, like, different things, and yeah, it would be interesting for sure. Are they all dead? Let's see. Okay, so let me show you guys how Mecha gets it done, right? So it depends on your playstyle, honestly. Anything works, right? Let's make sure that we have this one. Is it switched? Um, yeah, we should be good, right? So yeah, I actually have a really good sets. <laughs> so that's when I used to really care about this game a lot. And yeah, like, you know what I'm saying? I kind of miss this game, though. So drop a like if you guys want me to come back, you know what I'm saying? So this is my Mecha. Really OP also. Um, I don't know why my character just decided to look down. Is our attack good? Yeah, okay. It's just, I don't know why it's not doing enough damage. Okay, never mind. I have to proc, okay. So the way Mecha does a lot of damage is by gathering a lot of mobs. It's kind of weird, but that's just the way it works. <laughs> Alright, let's go over here. Activate this one so we can get some move speed. This one as well. And you guys will see how fast I am right now. Mecha legit just strives off like soaking damage. The best way to do damage on a mecha is just to tank like this. See this? They just drop like flies. That's kind of the way you want to play it, you know? Like the Blade Acrobat, you want to kind of just run in a straight line and spin. Mecha, you kind of want to just uh, stand your ground, you know? Obviously, this is a bad example because they literally get one shot by me. <laughs> so I can't really show you guys much, except this guy, obviously, you know? Alright, so now that we kill this guy, let me show you guys the way Assassin does it. So, Assassin is kind of tricky. So this is my hotkey for Assassin. Um, because it doesn't really have AoEs that are that decent. Um, okay, so let's switch over. Is this good? Yep, it's perfect. Oh, we look kind of cool. Let me see. That's interesting, y'all. Look at this. <laughs> Bro, look at that club. That club is bigger than my body. 
Yo, let's take a look at that club, man. That club is actually bigger than my body. <laughs> Yo, that's the first time I actually noticed it. Because I always have, like, my um, costumes on. Like, my one-hand costumes. Yo, we look kind of lit, bro. Like, what's up? <laughs> Anyways, um, aside from that, let's continue on. So, my assassin is actually kind of OP. I'm not going to lie. I think it's probably my best class. Let's go ahead and kill this guy. So, you want to use skill 5, like I showed you guys before. Stack 4s. I look how fast he dies. He pretty much just gets... If I can lock him. I, I don't know why they still haven't fixed this issue. Look at this. Like, assassin destroys, man. Like, assassin is just broken. <laughs> Like, assassin is broken. Oh, we actually got something. What is that? Um, it's a trophy. Okay, interesting. But yeah, like, I mean, I kind of want to show you guys how to do this as a run. Like, the best way to run. But at the same time, I thought it would be nice to kind of just show you guys different classes that can run it. Um, the best... Honestly, you wouldn't want to use assassin. Like, his, obviously, no AoE, like, kind of sucks, right? Yeah, he's dead. Okay. So, the only way or the only time you want to use assassin is to just kill bosses. If you're hunting, like, CCM. Because it's really fast. Uh, but we might kill ourselves here. Let's see. Hopefully not. If he gets his um, debuff, we're dead. I'm pretty sure we're dead. Let's go ahead and use this just in case. I think he got it. Perfect. Alright, we got him. So he has a debuff where if you attack, you actually kill yourself. Pretty much. <laughs> so it's kind of crazy, right? Um, let's go ahead and just finish this off with Assassin. Uh, because I actually want to go over the gear real quick. Show you guys something different. But honestly, you guys, I really miss this game. Like, I'm definitely thinking of coming back. I know I say that quite a lot, and I don't really come back, but like I'm actually thinking about coming back, you know? <laughs> okay, this is bad. I don't have mana. Do I just die here? Okay, I gotta get out of here. Oh, I gotta get out. No. Where's my mana stuff? Bro, I literally don't even know. Like, my bag is atrocious right now. But anyways, right? So, when you run this dungeon, what you want to sell... Oh, we look kind of like low-key cool. Uh, what you want to sell is these rings. Well, obviously, you sell everything. But what makes you the most, um, like, money... Is these necklaces, these level 100 necklaces, 95, and these rings, right? We got a few, actually. I see one, two, a bunch of necklaces. I see a lot of rings, not gonna lie for sure. So, yeah, these sell for, like, nothing. But these sell for, like, I don't know, like, 50 gold each, something like that. Oh, my God, what's going on? Can I just, like, go away from them? Okay, good. <laughs> oh, let's go kill the boss before they respawn over there. Are they gonna run back? Oh, that'd be kind of nice. Unless they respawn. Oh, they respawn? Okay. Alright, let's kill their boss. Let's assassin their boss. Or assassinate their boss. Assassin their boss. <laughs> Alright. He should die here because he doesn't have... Yeah, we got mana now. That's honestly my only problem with assassin is the mana. There's obviously something you can use to get mana back, but like, I don't have it. Wait, why is he... Why are you hitting me? Alright, so... We're outside, right? Now, I have 28,750 gold. Um... This honestly wasn't the best run because we le we left a lot of mobs, right? We, we did leave a lot of mobs. Hello? Can I like not die? Thank you. <laughs> so we did leave a lot of mobs. But let me show you guys how much money you'd make, right? So 28,750. You go over here. Sell me your garbage. Out of cells. Okay, really? Like I stopped playing for a little bit and... Come on. Okay, out of cell, white gear. Settings, perfect. <laughs> I don't know why that reset. Is it because of an update? Alright, so you press this one and look at how much money I make. That wasn't it, obviously, because you make more money off of these guys. So let's go ahead and just sell them. Okay, I'm going to need to organize it like this so I don't accidentally sell something important. But yeah, you actually end up making a lot of money. And this is how I farmed upwards of, I would say, I don't know, like 10, 15k a day, depending on like my mood. But yeah, and the thing is, you can actually do this really productively if you do uh, POD. Which I think is Palace Path of Destiny or something. Yeah, I haven't played in years. Okay, so like, don't <laughs> don't come after me in the comments saying you know you you're pronouncing all these things wrong. Um, I legit haven't played in a long time. But yeah, so like, look at how much money we made already. Now look, when we sold these, right? Thirty four gold, thirty one gold, thirty one. The necklaces are more though. Thirty four, thirty one. Um, these sell for quite some a good amount as well. Um, what else? I think I missed a few things. Um, we always want to sell these things because they don't really matter. Uh, let's see what else. That looks like it's it, right? That does look like it's it. Okay, we don't need the trophy, so let's go ahead and sell that one. Alright, so if you guys do remember, we were at 2850, or 28,750. Um, we're almost at that range at 29,000, right? So, I made almost 1k, and I skipped a lot of mobs, right? So now, imagine if I was doing uh, Path of Destiny, which you can get eternal points from, 
you can get gold you can get a lot of stuff from this honestly ccm so it's just a lot worth it and it takes like what i don't know how far this video is so far but like five six minutes if you're really about it if you're not messing around like me so it's honestly super fast super easy the best way you guys can make gold and um yeah so i can do more gods like this in the future i know i did a ccm one i can do like an updated ccm one because there's different methods um but yeah this is my class i guess license points pretty chill right for sure so i mean let me know if you guys enjoyed this one i know it's been quite a while since i uploaded a video on eden eternal but if you guys enjoyed i can for sure do more of this game in the future um like i said i'm just getting back into eden eternal once again because it's like one of those games i kind of hop on and off occasionally uh but yeah it's been your boy it you guys um once again if you guys enjoyed um drop a like subscribe if you're new to the channel i'll see you guys in the next one and peace